you know, over the past three years, we've seen kind of moderate to severe drought. And it does seem like we're kind of going backwards in our in progress towards recovery and that this isn't really helping to get to recovery. It's just kind of preventing the final extinction of the species in the wild. Not even that big. The Rio Grande silvery minnow, is a, it's a small fish that uh, was formerly found from essentially the Gulf Coast of, of Texas all the way into northern New Mexico. And now it only occurs in about a 200 mile section here in the central New Mexico. We got one. This year has been kind of unique because the drying usually happens pretty far south of Albuquerque and this year it's happening in Albuquerque. So the Rio Grande used to go dry in Albuquerque routinely over um, the previous century. But in the last 20 or 30 years, we've gotten a handle on how to prevent that from happening. The city has managed its water supplies better. The irrigation district has managed its water supply um, uh, much more efficiently. And that's allowed us to keep water in the river itself. Um, but climate change is coming at us so fast right now that it's outstripping those tools that we developed over the last few decades. As the uh, river dries up and forms these isolated pools, we'll go into each one of these pools and try to rescue out all the River Rande silvery minnow that, that are trapped in them. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. This is not a red. Okay. That's a bullhead. Okay. Those are not red. We, if we don't get out there to remove the fish from the pools, they're, they're going to die for sure. And by going out there to, to rescue them, and we try to move them to an area that we think is not going to dry and give them a chance to live. Yeah, I, I see Rio Grande silvery minnow as this kind of an umbrella species where the, the protections that it gets benefits all of the other species around it. So when there's enough water in the river to support silvery minnow, it's not only going to support the other fish that are in there, but all of the plants and animals that depend on it in the, in the river and, and next to the river. If we want to keep water in the river, we have to take water from someplace. We have to dry up the valley floor, the green neighborhoods, and turn them brown in order to put water in the river. We have to stop irrigating the pasture for um, the horses. Um, and those are things that are super valuable to these communities too. We're, we're, out, of, we're out of other options. It's a choice between do we want a natural ecosystem or do we not want a natural ecosystem? And there's, right now, there's 
it's not trending towards keeping it as a natural system.